Hi and welcome to the SR Money Mask video. Um, the SR Money Mask is the thickest foot resist we have to transfer letters and drawings, for example, deeply engraved onto stone. And uh, for sure you can use it also for glass. But you should be aware that you have to use another grid size. And for sure you should use a pressure pot unit. Um, you can see how I prepare the stone with the foot resist. So I cut it the um, um, release paper into two parts in the middle to align the mask properly. And now I removed the first half of the release paper. I aligned it at first with a piece of tape. And <laughs> It badly sticks as you can see <laughs> but um, the material is that thick that uh, you don't deform the mask while applying it that way so here you can see how I remove the second part of the release paper to um, cover the stone completely and to 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 fix the mask so I'm using a hard rubber roller which is also used for um, for printing and um, so you can you can be sure that the mask is yeah applied properly onto the surface. Now you just have to tape it off, so everything else, so that you don't hit it while sandblasting. That would be bad. So be sure that you covered everything properly. Um, maybe I can tell you something about the thickness of the material. The, th the thickness of the material is more than 300 micron. So it's very, very, very thick and uh, sandblasting resistant. So um, what I'm going to use later on with, with sandblasting, um, I'm, I'm using a, a grid size aluminum oxide, so AO of uh, 80 mesh, so a uh, grid of 80. And um, so we can we can uh, use a pressure of two or three bars, which which means about 30 to 45 psi while sandblasting it with a grid side of 80 to go deep into the stone. But you can see I applied also very fine details. So uh, you, you will save a lot of time using using such an um, such a, a sandblasting vinyl or um, when you're working with uh, the SR Monu mask uh, because you can transfer the letters as you can see here when I'm using uh, the pressure pot unit with a brush head. So it, this unit is sandblasting and um, it's also removing the dust and uh, the grid back to, to, to the pressure pot. So it's a recycling system. Um, you have no mess. Um, and here you can see that you can uh, sandblast the, um, the letters, so the name, and for sure also the fine details, not just the birds, also um, um, the tower of the coal mine, for example, the drawing we, we, you can see on, on uh, the right side or the weapon of arms on the left side of the city where my father is born or was born and uh, yeah so what and while sandblasting so you see I removed my thumb so I deactivated the the, the blasting process but the suction still runs and also a yeah, uh, pressure pot uh, will not stop directly so it, it runs a little bit um, and it goes on so you have to move um, the, 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 yeah, the, the sandblasting hat uh, while you uh, turn off the system, not to burn, um, yeah, the film. And here you can see even when I'm working with the brush head, so the film sticks perfectly to the surface, and uh, the SR Money mask um, will not be removed by the brush, so it sticks perfectly. It sticks badly to the material. And that's the reason why you can also blast deeply and you can work with such a yeah, blasting and a suction unit. So that's you can you can work very fast with a high pressure with a big grid size deep into the material without dust.
when you're working with other photo readers, for example, like uh, the SR3000 self-sticking, so 5mm or whatever, the material is pretty soft. So if you would apply or w if you would work with this uh, sandblasting unit with the, with the SR3000, for example, this material would be too soft. So you would um, scratch it away from the stone while you're going over it with a with, with brush because the brush is too, too, too strong. But uh, with the SR, um, SR Money Mask, it, uh, there will happen nothing. So you can see the fine details. That's incredible. So deep blasting, fine details, one mask, one process. Very, very time saving. And now um, what you see here, I'm applying a special metal powder. So I was a little bit angry about the stone colors I uh, I was using before because everything was so special, special stone color, whatever. And if, here in Germany, you have a hot winter time, you have uh, a lot of rain, you have uh, on, on, on the graveyard, you have also um, um, trees and whatever. And um, the plates are lying, uh, laying on the ground. And uh, so um, if you apply usual um, paint, um, the paint shrinks and grows with the temperature so and uh, it's getting brittle and yeah will peel off after a while so it's removed after a while by just by temperature and rain and uh, um, so I, I was thinking about something else so I was I was thinking about applying a resin at first a clear resin and then I'm using here metal powder so this is aluminium powder 9 micron it's a, it's a grid size and um, it's very fine. You see, it's um, it 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 runs uh, or it behaves like like a, a paint. So and here um, you can see how I apply it over the complete um, surface, and the uh, powder itself will only stick onto the areas where the resin was applied. So it's not. It's 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 like um, working with leaf gold, for example. But I'm using a powder, and I tested it on my own for by now for two years, and um, I prepared one plate for the grave of my father, and uh, now it's 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 about two years old and looks brand new. So nothing came off. And it looks brilliant. So it, it looks li really like like um, like metal. Yeah, because it's metal. <laughs> Pretty simple fact. <laughs> and here you can see that you can remove um, the film very easily. Okay, you need you you need a certain strength to to <laughs> to get rid of it because it's sticking badly to the material. But that's also very good on the other side. And here you can see how I remove at first uh, some yeah, some residue of the powder. And here is something different. What what maybe is just used in, in Germany? I, I've seen nowhere else. So um, I'm using sepia. So that's from a squirrel, the back plate of a squirrel. And uh, you can you can find it also in France at the beach. And uh, this is uh, a very soft material, but it can polish the stone, and you will remove all the re uh, all the residues. So um, very simply. Some take steel wool. I'm I'm taking sepia. You can see. Some people use it for the bird cage. <laughs> I'm using it for cleaning the stone. Or most people here which are working with stone are using sepia yeah, and that's it you can see you very deeply engraved very fine details um, brilliant um, color application very very fine details here also with the grid size of 80 Yeah, that's it. So many thanks for listening and watching the video. And if you have further questions, you can 
contact us by email or just visit our homepage. Thank you.